Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. I'm Chucky and today I'm going to be taking a part two look at the 3D pop effect which I created uh, an HD tutorial video here and I'm going to make something a little bit fancier here with some of the built-in backgrounds and built-in frames that Photoshop Elements 7 has. Let's get started and I'm going to minimize that. I need to take my model here and I need to select her so I'm going to use my selection tool that we did in the last video and I'm just going to grab her making marching ants go all the way around her trying to pick up as much hair and as much of her dress and everything as possible got a little bit too much there but that's okay I can use my minus sign here and I can kind of get rid of all that get real close to her hair here and I can get this grass area underneath maybe even do a plus and try to get a little bit of her hair right in here alright now that I have her selected I can use the command or control J if anybody's ever wondering what that is it's layer new layer via copy that is your control J here and we're going to make a new layer here next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock this layer which we normally do by clicking it double clicking it here and selecting OK so now we have her and we have a just a, a picture of her without the background on it in that layer so we have the two layers right there and then if you hold the control key or the command key down and you create a new empty layer here by clicking on this dog-eared thing you click on that and it creates an empty or transparent layer then I'm going to jump over to the create real quick and I'm going to select under you have projects and artwork I'm going to click on artwork and click on that frame and I'm going to hit apply and on our empty layer it's going to create a frame we need to jump back to edit because we need to simplify this. Right now this sitting here is a frame layer and we can't really do a whole lot with that so I'm going to right click that and I'm going to simplify it. It just gives us the frame. So We need to delete out what's in the middle of the frame to make this work. We can do that just by selecting the magic wand tool and clicking on the gray area. It selects everything that is of light color that light gray and if we delete it you can see here it deleted it all we can deselect using the control D or command D and deselecting the marching ants then let me turn the visibility layer off we need to erase the words here because now it's a simplified layer and then we meet, need to make this a little bit smaller in order to do that I'm just going to use control T and control T is under image and transform right there you can see control T right there control T free transform make this a little bit smaller so when she does the 3d effect that she looks like she's popping out of the frame now we need to go to image transform and now we need to skew this and I'm gonna skew it to kinda of make it look 3d here and you can see that that's kinda of making it look a little bit 3d pull this in just a just a tiny bit here we can pull this in and then drop that up all right and when you're kind of happy of what how your frame looks maybe we can maybe we can bring it out a little bit maybe we make it a little bit bigger okay and when you're happy you can click the checkbox or the enter key now we have the frame the girl in the background now we have to do some erasing we want to make sure that we don't erase the frame or anything so if we hold the control key down and click on the frame it selects the frame I'm gonna undo the visibility layer here now we need to erase the rest of the background here using the select and inverse or shift control I shift command I we can select everything but the frame now when I go to my eraser and click on layer 0 you can see that it's going to erase this and so I want to kind of quickly erase this if you've already seen my other video this is just kind of a good refresher on how to do this fairly rapidly 
and it's okay to erase her because we have her on another layer on the top. So now we've got this done. Now we need to turn her back on and we need to erase her inside the frame and also her arm. So let's go ahead and click on that. Let's go ahead and get rid of her here. Now how do we do that inverse again? We hit select inverse or shift control I or command shift I and let's get her out of the frame. So now we have her in the frame. In order to make the marching ants go away we do the deselect or control D right there. So now we have her as a 3D looking pop out here. Now what I want to do is I want to merge these two layers. So if I click on this and hold control on that one and then right click we get the merge layer. The reason why we want to do this is we want to give it a little bit of a drop shadow. Now I'm never really happy with this light drop shadow so I click on the FX and you don't get this FX until you apply one of these layers. And once we do that we can make the shadow a little bit darker there and kind of make it look like it is 3D and then select OK. Now that we have that we're pretty much done except we want to go back onto the invisible or transparent layer click on create and now we want to go to the backgrounds and sometimes it's a little bit sticky here doesn't like to go to the background so let's go to the backgrounds and there we have our background so now if I click on something and select apply you can see that it puts it in the background now let's give it kind of a Christmassy look here even though it's uh, not Christmas and there we go we have a 3D pop effect with some drop shadow right here and a background with one of these fancy frames. So this is part two of the 3D art pop effect and hope you had fun.